March is another great month for Animal Crossing New Horizons players. Spring is finally here in the Northern Hemisphere. And Autumn is starting up for those in the Southern Hemisphere. So, like I do every month, I'm going to be taking a look at everything that'll be going on on your island, whether you're in the Northern or Southern Hemispheres, in Animal Crossing New Horizons. From all the fun scenery changes that you can expect to see, limited time items and events, and a lot more, there's definitely a lot to unpack and check out here. So, let's jump right into this. Starting us off, we have limited time items which will be available throughout the month of March. There's actually quite a few good ones that you can get your hands on only in March, and on screen I'm going to be sharing a list of all these. So, first of all we have the Hina Matsuri which will be available from February 22nd until March the 3rd. Then we have Pi Day which will be available from March the 1st until the 14th. Then we have a bigger selection for Shamrock Day which will go from March the 10th until the 17th, with the main event for that which I'll talk about later being on the 17th itself. And then finally we have an early April Fool's Day gift which will be coming from March the 26th until April the 1st. So yes, a really nice variety of items to get your hands on for a limited time. Just make sure you do get them if you don't have them already before they disappear from your Nook shopping tab or app and you can no longer get them until next year. My personal favourite is the Pi Day item, honestly I really love that one and I'd love you to let me know which your favourite is down in the comments section. As I mentioned, Shamrock Day is a mini event in Animal Crossing New Horizons and it'll be happening on March the 17th. Shamrock Day will allow you to collect these fun little items that you can see from Nook Shopping, but it will also allow you to get the Shamrock Wand from Balloon Gifts, which is pretty cool. However, one of the best things is if you head into the Able Sisters, you'll see that they're actually selling a limited time outfit that you can wear for Shamrock Day. I always really like these mini events that tie into the Able Sisters and have their own special outfits. We see it a few times throughout the year, and this is definitely a cool one. Of course, it's not as big as some of the other major events in Animal Crossing New Horizons, although we will be getting one of those next month, which is definitely cool, but it's still fun to enjoy a sort of mini event in the game. I'm definitely going to be decorating my island with lots of green and getting my hands on some of these items. I do already have a few of them, but hey, it never hurts to have even more. And that Shamrock Wand will definitely be worth hunting down in Balloon Gifts, or seeing if any of your villagers around the island are actually crafting it. Speaking of sort of mini events, on March the 20th we have Animal Crossing New Horizons Anniversary. Now, they don't actually celebrate this in the game sadly. Originally they did have a cake item to celebrate the very first anniversary of the game, but now if you are a player who missed this item, you'll get it on the first anniversary of you actually starting up your island. So that's something I wanted to note in case anyone was wondering where the anniversary cake is, when everyone is going to be talking about the anniversary of the game. Now we have some bush changes. For example, the camellia bush will stop blooming on the 31st of March if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, so make sure you enjoy and appreciate that bush whilst it is still around because it'll be a while before you can see it in bloom again. For those in the Southern Hemisphere, there are even more bush changes. For example, the plumeria and the hibiscus bushes will stop on March the 20th, so you don't have too long until their beautiful flowers have stopped being in bloom. However, the tea olive bush will start to bloom from the 31st as it's a very autumny bush, so right at the end of the month you can get to appreciate this as autumn really starts to appear around the island. We also have some more scenery changes. For example, the exterior of Nook's Cranny will change to match the season. Since I'm in the Northern Hemisphere, currently it has a really nice spring outside and all of the winter decor has gone until later on this year. I'm really glad to see spring is back, it is my absolute favourite season in Animal Crossing and it's only going to get better in April as well. March is really just the start of it. Also, new types of weeds will start to appear around your island, they'll start looking more spring-like, getting some dandelions and such, so that's really cool. And of course, the main thing, your island will start to become green again if you're in the Northern Hemisphere. It's a really faded colour at the start of the month as I've shown off throughout this video, but later on in the month it will become greener and greener and greener, and when you get to the end, it will be such a lovely bright green, which is honestly a really traditional Animal Crossing colour in my opinion. When I think of Animal Crossing, I definitely think of this really lovely deep green colour. So yes, I cannot wait for spring to spring into action. No pun intended. Now we have some seasonal materials for the month. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, then you can collect Young Spring Bamboo, which became available right at the end of February. 
There are some really cool items that you can craft using this material, so I definitely recommend planting some bamboo around the island if you don't have that already. You can get bamboo starts by going on Nook Mile Mystery Tours, so if you get lucky enough, hopefully you'll find a bamboo island, and then you can bring some of that back to your own island to start planting it. If you happen to be in the southern hemisphere, then you can get your hands on acorns and pine cones, which are another one of my favorite. All you have to do is shake the trees to get your hands on these, and there are so many different items you can craft using them, so I highly recommend doing it. Now let's talk about some of the interesting weather patterns that are happening throughout the month. If you happen to be in the northern hemisphere, or even the southern hemisphere really, then you can typically expect to see a lot of rain throughout the month of March. There is definitely a lot going on. Spring does happen to be one of the rainiest seasons in real life, at least where I am, so it is kind of cool to enjoy heavy rainfall once again in the game, which is marked out in the dark blue, I believe. However, a really interesting weather pattern will happen for the last time in March, which happens to be heavy fog. This only happens at 7am, so honestly, a lot of people might have missed this, and it won't become available again until much later this year. So definitely check out your game early in the morning if you're able to at 7am to see if heavy fog rolls in, as it is such a cool effect in the game that not many people really notice. Now let's take a look at all of the new bugs arriving and leaving in the northern and southern hemispheres, with a big thanks to Game8.co for creating these useful infographics. Bugs arriving in the Northern Hemisphere, Yellow Butterfly, Tiger Butterfly, Peacock Butterfly, Mantis, Orchid Mantis, Honeybee, Stink Bug, Man Face Stink Bug, and the Ladybug. For the Southern Hemisphere, we have the Common Butterfly, Yellow Butterfly, Monarch Butterfly, Cricket, Bell Cricket, Red Dragonfly, Violin Beetle, Pill Bug, and the Centipede. Bugs leaving in March for the Northern Hemisphere will be the Emperor Butterfly. For the Southern Hemisphere, we have the Tiger Butterfly, Emperor Butterfly, Agrius Butterfly, Rajar Brooks Birdwing, C Queen Alexandra's Birdwing, Atlas Moth, Madagascan Sunset Moth, Grasshopper, Walker Cicada, Pond Skater, Diving Beetle, Giant Waterbug, Rosalia Battersea Beetle, Earth Boring Dung Beetle, Goliath Beetle, Rainbow Stag, Walking Leaf, and the Mosquito. Now on to fish. The new fish in the Northern Hemisphere will be the Tadpole, the Loach, Cherry Salmon, Char, Golden Trout, and the Barred Knife Jaw. For the Southern Hemisphere arriving will be the Pike, Cherry Salmon, Char, Golden Trout, Salmon, King Salmon, Mitten Crab, and Sturgeon. Fish leaving in March for the Northern Hemisphere will be the Bitterling, Yellow Perch, Stringfish, Sturgeon, Sea Butterfly, Football Fish. And leaving for the Southern Hemisphere will be the Crawfish, Softshell Turtle, Sweetfish, Salmon, King Salmon, Nibblefish, Piranha, Arowana, Dorado, Gar, Arapaima, Saddled Birchier, Clownfish, Surgeonfish, Butterflyfish, Pufferfish, Blue Marlin, Ocean Sunfish, Saw Shark, Hammerhead Shark, Great White Shark, Whale Shark, and the Suckerfish. Sea Creatures finally, Northern Hemisphere, arriving will be the Chambered Nautilus, Firefly Squid, and the Spider Crab, and arriving in the Southern Hemisphere will be the Oyster and the Sweet Shrimp. Leaving in the Northern Hemisphere will be the Red King Crab, and leaving in the Southern will be the Flatworm, Gigas Giant Clam, Horseshoe Crab, Moon Jellyfish, Sea Grapes, Sea Urchin, Slate Pencil Urchin, and finally the Tiger Prawn. So those are all the critters throughout the month. Yes, this is March in Animal Crossing New Horizons. It isn't the craziest month in the game, but it is still one of my favorites, as I really love springtime. April is going to be even more content packed with a major event happening pretty early on and some other things that you'll definitely want to look out for, so I cannot wait for that too. Let me know what you're excited for down in the comment section below. If you made it to the end of the video, then be sure to comment Bob's Gang down below so I know you did. If you enjoyed, then be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing and turning on notifications for more Animal Crossing New Horizons videos.